wanted to do a quick video on a new function into the Seeing AI app, I believe by Microsoft. They have enhanced their artificial intelligence, their augmented reality, whatever you want to call it. They have really stepped up their game. And they have a new function in this called Indoor Navigation. And the Indoor Navigation lets you create a route from point A to point B. And if you have AirPods, that go along with your iPhone, it basically leads you through the, the actual route. So I'm gonna create a route real quick here and kind of show you how it works. And then possibly we'll go through a, an option to run through the route. So this little box has got the little squares around it. It's called the world. world preview. And what it does is it looks around at things, and as it recognizes things or people, it lets you know they're standing in front of you. So if you're walking down a hall with this app, and there's a person in front of you, it'll say person, chair, table, and it lets you know that those are in your way. It's very, very nice. So to the right, there's a little square with a plus sign in it. We're going to select that, and now we see the option for indoor navigation we'll pick that so this will be our first route this is going to be a test route and we're going to go to the i'm just going to go down the hallway so we're going to hit the little plus up in the corner all right before walking the route it's important to capture the area around so what it wants us to do is it wants us to basically paint the area where we're starting. So we're going to hit continue. So what it's doing now is it's 15% completed. Painting the area. So we have to 25% completed. Move the camera around. Sometimes it's just easier to make circles. 50% completed. You do a low circle. 75% completed. And it's actually giving us a percentage of where it's at completed. in regard to painting. All right. So where are we at? We are at the front door. It does not like spaces. Continue. Now walk to the destination and tap end route. All right, Move so ready to walk to the route. So your you. best option is just to hold your phone against your chest and walk the exact path that you want the route to go. So I'm going to walk down here just past my fireplace, and I'm going to turn right, and then I'm going to walk down this pathway towards the master bathroom, my master bedroom. I'm actually going to stop before I get there, and this is just a sample. So we'll end the route. Okay, so now we need destination. I'm just gonna put master. Could be the primary bedroom, however you wanna call it. So what it does now is it goes through and it's looking at the waypoints and it's trying to create that route. Sometimes it takes a few minutes I have noticed that it's very bandwidth sensitive, so the better your bandwidth is, the quicker this goes. Obviously, the longer the route, the more waypoints that you'll have. I did a, a route through a school recently, and I believe it had 59 waypoints. So while it's doing this, I'll also explain a few more things. The one really cool factor for this is, is if there is someone that you know who is sighted and they have the app, the app is a free app, they can go through and they can map routes for you before you ever get there. So a good example would be, I was going to substitute teach at a local elementary school. My daughter teaches there full time. So what she did was when she learned what class I was going to be teaching, she went in and created a route. 
from the front door to my classroom. And then she created a route from my classroom to the bathroom. And then she created a route from Sorry, something went my wrong while classroom the Please return to your destination and all try the way again. to the end of the beginning point. So I could leave my classroom and go right to the front door. Well, in that situation, it did not like our path. So, let's go back. I'm going to move or tilt the phone up to capture what is in front of you. Anyway, so the internet that I have here at the house is not great. So it could not find the waypoints to create that route. I do have another route very similar to that that I created right here. Test one. So now we have two options with that path that's created. We can either follow the path or we can share the path. So like my daughter, she created it and then shared it with me. And once I had it, I was able to use it. Now to follow the route, Looking hit for the follow one. button. You hold the phone directly in front of you again. And I've got my ear pods in, uh, air pods, I should say. Clock. And what happens as I move, if I go off course a little bit, from the path, your phone around to locate test my one. AirPods are giving me sounds in my ears. So as long as I'm hearing sounds from both of my individual ears, I know I'm on the right path. If I turn to the left, my right ear goes silent, and that tells me I'm going the wrong direction. As I move closer, the two ears then start to make the same sound. If I go to the right, the left ear goes quiet. So I know as long as I've got sounds Slowly in both of my ears, then I can navigate directly through that route. Person. And what's yeah. nice is even like a concert venue or a restaurant, someone could create this route Clock. for you, and you'd be able to get up from your table and walk to the restroom by yourself. So the technology is great. Around to uh, this technology one. is in its infancy, Clock. but it's only going to get better. So go out, play with it, and see what you Clock. think. Again, I find it very, very useful.